Hello, this is an information video for people attending worship at St John's Church, Carterton. Uh, as you are probably aware, the government has now cancelled almost all of the legislation uh, concerning the coronavirus pandemic. And in response to this change, the Church of England has delegated uh, decisions about how we will now operate our services and keep everyone safe uh, to the incumbent of each parish. So the buck stops at my desk. Uh, at the same time, they've reminded us that the virus is still at large and dangerous and that we're all responsible to and for each other. And we're called to be especially mindful of the more vulnerable members among us whose suffering is our suffering, as it reminds us in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. So having consulted with the PCC, with the church wardens, with my fellow ministers, I've decided to continue with a fairly cautious and gradual unlocking of restrictions. This will allow us to make some immediate and significant changes, uh, which I hope will be welcomed, but we won't be casting caution to the wind here at St John's. So here are the changes that you'll notice immediately. And as I say, hopefully you'll be happy with these. Firstly, most but not all of the comfortable chairs uh, will go back into the worship area on Wednesday, the 21st. We're going to leave alternate rows clear and within each row, the chairs will be in groups of four so we can still keep a safe distance from other family bubbles. Uh, communion will still be taken round by the minister uh, and it'll still just be bread for the time being. But singing, we're going to allow singing. I think this is probably the thing people have been missing the most. So we're going to allow singing during our services, but we're going to ask people, uh, if possible, to wear a mask whilst singing. So unless they're unable to or particularly uncomfortable in the mask, uh, please wear one while, while you're singing. And you don't need to wear it for other parts of the service. Hopefully that's a compromise uh, that we can all be happy with uh, for the time being. Uh, we're going to also, though, have a safe area of the church in which there will be no singing and masks will continue to be worn if possible. And this will probably have to be in the hall just beyond the partition screen. This is for people who are feeling particularly vulnerable uh, and who don't want people around them singing or not wearing masks. Uh, we're going to move the side altar back into the church into its usual position as well uh, and as far as possible the unused chairs will also be stored in that alcove under the RAF window. Uh, our eight o'clock communion which we have been holding in the hall uh, will still be just on the second Sunday of the month for the time being but we're going to move it back into the main worship area and use the main altar for that. So if things go well in our services and if things go well in control of the virus statistics, uh, we're hoping we can relax the rules further uh, sometime after the beginning of September. Uh, the changes we're considering include the serving of refreshments after the 1030 service and the distribution of wine as well as bread in some way, but perhaps this would be by uh, intinction or dipping. Uh, we're also hoping to resume our breakfast events from uh, from September, but it's too early to make that a firm decision until we see how things are going. Well, I expect that these changes may sound as though they're going too far for some people and not far enough for others. Uh, it's difficult to get the balance right, but I hope you appreciate uh, that we've done our best uh, to, to take the right steps for this time. Uh, I am confident, though, that the whole church community will respond in the right spirit and will continue to show patience and consideration in these challenging times. We will keep all of this under review and we will, of course, be continuing to broadcast our services via Facebook Live and Zoom uh, so that uh, a wider group of people uh, will be able to participate and join in with worship. Uh, even if they're not able to come to the building. So that's all I have for you for now. This is version one of our opening up plan and we'll see where we go from here. 
thank you for listening and thanks for your support. And uh, a full text of what I've said uh, will also be available uh, through Facebook and on the website.